Hey, what up guys, today I'm gonna give you a rundown of all the specs and features of the new iMac. Now, this new iMac comes in the same screen sizes, which is 21.5 inches and 27 inches. But as far as the thickness of this new iMac, it's actually incredible. It is only 5 millimeters thin, and as you look at these pictures, uh, it looks kind of like there's just, you know, there's nothing behind the screen. It's like you're looking into the picture and there's absolutely nothing behind it. Now just to compare, I know this isn't the best quality picture, but still you can see this new, very late 2012 iMac against its predecessor uh, iMac that was designed in 2009 so you can see this iMac is a lot thinner not only by the sides but by the part that's sticking out that Apple doesn't always count you can still see it's a lot thinner than the iMac we're used to one other good thing about this display is it actually uh, reflects 75% less glare so I know it's not the most important thing for uh, desktops that's why Apple started up with the retina display macbook pros they eliminated that while still keeping a glossy display uh, because you won't probably take your desktop outside and work with it but still is a good thing so you if you're sitting close to a window uh, you won't see that glare now, as far as the processor goes it will be starting with a quad core intel ivy bridge i5 which will be running at 2.7 and turbo boosting itself up to 3.2 gigahertz and the 17 inch model will be starting with 2.9 gigahertz and turbo boosting up to 3.6 but when you're buying your imac online you can also configure it up to Intel Core i7 processor which will be even more powerful. Now as far as the memory goes this is actually where it gets interesting because uh, it will be shipping with 8 gigabytes of 1600 MHz DDR3 RAM just like we saw on the newest Retina Display MacBook Pros but what's interesting about this it Apple actually uh, still allows users to uh, get inside the machine and th the memory actually will be allowed by Apple to be updated to maybe more memory so it still is user accessible now when it comes to storage it gets even more interesting because of course you can choose between your regular hard disk drive or solid state drive or I believe Apple calls it flash storage but there is a third new option from Apple called the fusion or just fusion without the uh, but still fusion and what it is it actually Apple combines flash storage with a uh, hard disk drive to create the best speeds uh, with the best storage for the le for the least money so basically to explain it you get almost the same speeds as with SSD but you get more space as you do with an HDD but the price doesn't go up like with an SSD so basically it will have applications that you most uh, likely to use basically it will work with software to configure which application you use the most it will put that on the SSD and applications or documents that you don't use very often it will store on the hard disk drive now on to graphics for the 21 inch model it will be NVIDIA GeForce GT 540 or 550 m uh, graphics with 512 megabytes of memory and i actually did memorize all of this now for the 27 inch model you will have a choice between nvidia geforce gtx 660 m uh, graphics with 512 megabytes or gtx uh, uh, 675 graphics with a gigabyte of memory now on the back of the device you will have a headphone port SD card slot and actually the SD card slot is on the back not on the sides and also what's missing from the side is the optical drive because of course they needed to make it as thin as possible so they took that out next up is four USB 3 ports which is very good two Thunderbolt ports and a Ethernet port and with that said, it finally brings me to the end of this video. It's kind of been a long one. Thank you for sticking around with me till the end. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.